Hey guys, it's Adrian. Um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful Wednesday. Um, I know this video is coming out a little later than usual. Um, I just didn't have time to pre-record it like I normally would. Um, so, uh, if you're new to the channel, um, it's Whip Wednesday. Uh, usually I would, uh, usually I show you the finished objects that I've completed over the course of the last seven days. And then I will show you guys what I'm working on, um, or planning on working on for the next seven days. Um, if you're not new to the channel, thanks for coming back. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, you know, my, my channel is slowly growing. Uh, you know, I, I think my goal for the, de for December is to, um, probably I would like to reach like maybe 800 subscribers. That's probably going to be my goal for the month of December. Did I say 8,000? I meant 800. I'm sorry. Paint yeah. <laughs> I, if I said 8,000, I'm sorry, I meant 800. That's the goal for December. Um, so, uh, I do have a few things to show you guys this week. Um, let's move my coffee out the way. So, this first one, I think I showed you in a previous video, but it is called the Tipped Shell Rectangular Shawl. I think I showed it actually in my live giveaway that I did for November. Um, so that's what the stitch looks like. Um, it's kind of hard to show, but these are the shells are tipped on their side, so it makes sort of a, a zigzag uh, going vertically um, on the shawl. And then there's these rows of double crochet here. Um, this one I am planning on getting a video tutorial out for so that I can show you how I did this shawl. I've also got plans to do a pullover using this, this stitch, uh, for, for this particular shawl I used, um, Yarn Bee Chloe. Here's one of the labels. Uh, it's the color Carnation. Um, and it is a medium weight four, and I used three balls of this, and each ball was 270 yards, but, um, this pattern can be done in any yarn with any hook. It's, it's, you know, it's just a rectangular shawl, so it's really, really super easy to adjust. Um, but I'll get into that more when I get the video tutorial finished. Um, Chloe is a, I want to say, yeah, 70% wool and 30% viscose blend. Now, they don't have the color Carnation on the Hobby Lobby website anymore. Um, I think it might have gotten, uh, I think this particular color had gotten discontinued, uh, when they did the last, what do they call it, a yarn delete, I think is what the manager up there called it, was a yarn delete. Um... It's where every every June or July they go in and they get rid of certain yarns to make room for new ones. Um, they did have some of the Chloe yarn, <coughs> excuse me, in uh, a couple of other colorways, like two weeks ago when I checked the website. But yesterday when I checked the website, they were completely sold out of all of the of the yarn be Chloe but this particular shawl I used three three balls and I think it measures 60 inches by uh, 18 inches I haven't blocked it yet though I did buy a um, I, I ordered what are they called those foam play mat things that the kids play on I bought one of those to use as a blocking mat um, it hasn't come it hasn't come in yet. I think it's supposed to come in today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um but once it gets here I'll block it. And so of course once the stitches are relaxed it'll it'll be a little bit bigger, but um 
when I was crocheting it, I was shooting for 60 by 18. So that's, that's the first project I finished this week. Um, and then I also finished this slouchy beanie. Um, and actually it's, it's going to end up being a kid's slouchy beanie. Um, I don't usually care for, uh, homespun and I, I don't, I don't usually care for boucle yarn anyways. Um, and homespun is a boucle. It's, it's like bumpy. Um, but this particular color, it was called Fiesta and I got it at the thrift store some time ago and I found a pattern called the lovely lady slouchy beanie and I'll link that in the description box and so I thought I'd give it a go now the pattern calls for a 6.5 millimeter hook I use this 7 just because the yarn is a bulky weight 5 um, now on the label it said that the recommended hook size was a 6.5 but I went ahead and I used a 7 and this hat still turned out much smaller than expected. I can't get it on my head. And I, when I took the measurements, it would probably fit maybe an 18 to 20 inch circumference head. So it, it turned out a little, little small, but I'm probably going to put it in the shop as, you know, a hat for kids or a hat for a teenager. Somebody who's got a smaller head than me. <laughs> but I thought these colors were so pretty. Um... Oh, and I don't remember, did I tell y'all, I got this, um, Chloe yarn in a yarn swap with, uh, Leah from Leah Crochets. Y'all should check her channel out if you haven't done so already. She's a really sweet individual. Um, she's definitely becoming a really good, uh, YouTube friend of mine. Um, she's really sweet. She does a lot of blankets for do for donation for, for a place called, um, The Linus Project. Um... Anyways, so the last finished object I have uh, this week is the Hidden Truths Poncho. This one, you can't, the colors are not showing up very well. It's also pink. Um, this one is designed by Bag O'Day Crochet. Um, on her channel, it is called the Hidden Truths Poncho. And you can see it's got front post stitches that run from the top all the way to the bottom. Um... It turned out really nicely. I don't know if y'all can see the sparkles in it. Um, so I started, when I started this poncho, it was really irresponsible. Um, when I started this poncho, I was pretty certain that I wasn't going to have enough to finish the poncho. But I thought, it's okay, no big deal, I'll pick some more up. And then, and then Joanne's didn't have any more. Um, and I had actually put a call out to you guys to see if any of you guys had um, any of the yarn that I needed lying around that you'd be willing to trade or to sell to me. Um, nobody had any. <laughs> nobody had any. Um, but Yarny Cat, whose channel I will also link in the description box. I don't know what's going on with this ring light. I, I get so tired of fighting with it all the time. Um, Yarny Cat uh, actually was able to find some on Etsy for me and I was able to get enough of the color that I needed um, now here's what I have left I've got about half a ball left and this is the colorway uh, Dusty Plum here's the label for the yarn that I used for that for that poncho um, and it's a Big Twist is a, is a Joann's exclusive um, I'm sure most of y'all know that, um, but for those of you who don't, Big Twist is a brand that you can only get through through um, Joann's or sometimes from, you know, people that have bought in it and are willing to trade or sell. You know, I happen to get lucky, and I and I I shouldn't have started the poncho thinking for sure that I was going to be able to get more because yeah, but anyways, it's a 61% acrylic um, and 39% polyester blend. I have to say, excuse me, uh, lately I have really been into using polyester blends. I'm not really sure why, but, um, and also this, this one has sequins in it. I don't know, y'all can 
sort of see the little sparkles. See, it's got sequins in it, and then um, it's got like this shiny thread that runs through it. It's really soft. Um, I, I mean, you can feel the sequins a little bit, um, but it's not too bad. Um, but considering that I made that that I used it to make a poncho, you're probably going to be wearing something underneath anyways. So, or at least I would think. Um, you know, maybe, what do they call those things? Camisoles? <laughs> um, so those are the finished objects I have for this week. Um, one thing that is not necessarily crochet related, but it is shop related, um, that I've been working on. I still have to finish these. Uh, but, so I got these cute little sea turtle, um, sea turtle beads from Amazon. They are a white howlet um, stone and I've been working up some, well working up, I've been making some, I said working up like it's crochet. Um, I've been making those periodically throughout the week so I do have a bunch of these, a bunch of bracelets that are ready to go in the shop. Um, I really thought the sea turtles were super cute, and I might have to go back and get some more. Um, and they're just the regular stretch bracelets that I usually have in my shop. Um, but other than that, those are... I mean, I'm working on the beads, but probably they're going to get set aside. Um, because last night, I, um, I got a message about a preemie beanie order. And I usually sell my preemie, beanie, uh, my preemie beanies in bulk. Um... And there's just one particular lady that usually orders a couple hundred every year. And this year she didn't, but she did message me and say, she, she told me that she was going to start putting in orders um, in January. Um, and I told her I'd be ready, because like I said, she usually orders, I think last year I did 700 of them for her. And uh, she takes them around and she donates them. I think I, actually it's her and her church. They, they collect donations and then they take them to uh, their local churches and donate them to the NIC unit. So I'll probably be making these over the course of at least the next week. I'm going to try to get a head start on, on her order before she even places it because, like I said, she orders like lots and lots of baby beanies. Um... So, yeah, that's that's probably all I'm going to be working on for the next couple of days. Um, I have this clothes basket that I make them in, that I make, and then I put them in. And then when the basket's finished, I'll have, or when the basket's full, I have my son come in and he'll sit and weave in all the ends for me. But um, that's, that's all I have for you guys this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. It should, I should have one. I don't know if I've got one coming out tomorrow or not. I think so, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful Wednesday. And um, now I'm going to go rush and try to get this video uploaded and <laughs> whatnot because it, it's terribly late. <laughs> Anyways, uh, bye guys.